I believe that we have a long way to go, but it is something that's achievable. And it's easy to say that in a space like this because I believe a show, when it's done right, is a safe space for expression and ideas. But it's what we do when we walk out those doors that really counts for everything. And um, you need reminders, you need inspiring voices, and that's why I'm still a part of this after so many years. And um, I just want to thank you for your piece, and I'm really happy that you did um, the last piece that you did because I think um, that's something that we all struggle with is, is uh, being silenced and, and really kind of reconciling the inequities that are in our life even when it's things like families and, and friends that are kind of putting that on us, whether it's gender roles or your choice of occupation, or it can be anything. Whenever anyone's trying to keep you down, it's fucking hard to deal with, especially when it's your family. And so um, I'm gonna open with a piece that I call Shift, and it's very much in the spirit of being able to stand tall for what you believe in and what you care about. Don't you ever stop. Like I said, it's easy to say that shit in a room like this, but when we leave tonight, let's not give up. Okay? Yeah. You got it. Thinking deeply, I've arrived here at this point now. Feeling sure what happens now, what happens next to still the truth that all that's left. And I don't think I'm gonna run no more. I don't think I'm gonna run no more. I do, we're gonna teach you how to sing. This is the chorus, are you ready? So rock me mama like a wagon wheel. Rock me mama any way you feel. Hey, mama rock me. Oh, rock me mama like the wind and the rain. Rock me mama like a southbound train. Hey. Mama rock me. We're off to a great start. Heading down south to the land of the pines. Throw my way into North Carolina. Staring down the road, pray to God I see headlights. Well, I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking me up, okay, I'm 
Hogwood flowers and I'm hoping for all you got to see my baby tonight. All together. So rock me mama like a wagon we go. Rock me mama any way you feel. being in the Koji band, right? Yeah. Rule number one, you must sing. You guys, most of you are doing a great job with that. Rule number two is you don't really have to sing. But if you're not going to sing, being in a band is about a lot of things, and among those things is teamwork. So what you're going to do is you're going to smile real big, send us your PMA and all the love of your heart so the singers in the band can make up the difference. Are you ready for the last verse, last chorus? Nod your head if you are. <laughs> Walking to the sound. Roanoke, caught a trucker out of Philly, had a nice song. He had a west from the Cumberland Gap to Johnson City, Tennessee. And I gotta get a move on before the sun. I need my baby, call my name and a Norris. He's the only one, and if I die in Raleigh, at least I will die free. One last time. So rock me, mama, like a wagon wheel. Rock me, mama, The same crash truck burned the house down. You set the fire. Some things do remain. We nobody died, but the lies make the liar. Somebody's gonna say. Some children stay children. That all the child has been. Like the friction, surface sets a flame. Gravity starts pulling on his game. Follow after me. Here we go. You call me a brother. 
but set into the shelter together to carry on a name. The pain that cuts so deep, it pinches like nerve. When do you hear your concert's calling, singing out just like a curse? here in the spring and it was a really awesome, awesome moment in my life when I traveled across the country playing music for the very first time. It was the very first time playing on this, this side of our vast, vast country in the United States. And um, I had gone through the Pacific Northwest. I think I just played San Francisco and then I came here. And um, I did not know what to expect because it was a place I only knew from television. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know what? Some people have it worse. Like if you grew up in the state that has Penn State University, sometimes people, they identify you by the place you come from, by stuff that's worse than a Comedy Central television show. So don't get bummed out. <laughs> that tour was a really special tour for me. It was called the Resolve Tour, and it was one... One where um, I partnered with a nonprofit called Resolve, and their mission as an organization was to make it a priority to the United States government to see an end to the use of child soldiers in Central Africa at the hand of um, a rebel army called the Lord's Resistance Army. And at that time, we were fighting to find funding for a strategy that had been unanimously passed. Uh, by our Congress the year before. And it was in danger, like a lot of things, of being cut. And this is something that I fought for for the last six years. And it was, it was something that I saw off in the distance as being achievable. Like I said, peace and justice, it's an achievable thing. Even though we got a long way to go on a lot of issues, progress does happen if you look for it and if you work for it. And so this fall, in October, the uh, strategy was funded. And that was on the backs of the letters that we wrote at the shows, like the one we did here in Reno, the petition signatures that we collected, and all the meetings that we organized. So if you were here and you were a part of that moment um, in my career, in this movement, and in this moment here in Reno DIY, I want to thank you and say to you, we are making our way. We sent 100 advisory troops over there and resources to take Joseph Coney off the battlefield to resettle the child soldiers and rehabilitate them and commit humanitarian aid to the communities that have been affected by this. That's something that the youth of America and Reno, Nevada has something to do with. So my hat goes, my hat goes off to you. This is on a split with a band that put out an album called Wildlife this year. They are called La Dispute. They are my best friends. And you should give them a round of applause. It's about that we took and we made it our own. Don't have to ask because we already know all the times described. In terms of distance, it's different where to find by what only some can hope is enough. Numbers, statistics, we're measuring our worth, quantify, pacify. We side just waiting for the rain. Seasons pass, no one asks, no the questions just don't raise. That enough? They take, oh they take a 
until there's nothing left Disappear on the member rule On to the next Where's the heart and the soul? Where's the maiden and this mess? Is it the blind lead and the blind check? Your hand don't make your bet Now what's enough? Just want it back to the place in time when I knew The place in time where I knew I needed to know your heart And have you know mine It's just thoughts I have in the laws of conversation But then I can't get free Cause I wandered back to the place in time when I knew The place in time where I knew I'd be cursed The memory of never saying and unmade plans, resolutions, and hopes List the places we go A life that we made that was not and undone And I wonder These echoes tie me to you Cause they do And all because I needed to know your have you no mind? Give it up for our devices. I am, um, I'm so stoked to be in a basement right now, <laughs> in a garage, this is a garage basement, this is a hybrid. 
<laughs> this is the future. <laughs> this is the year 2000. This is the year Ryland 2000. Everybody give it up for Ryland. For Continue on with a group exercise. So everybody, you've hummed before. I have a I know that you've sung, and I know that you have the capacity to ah. So now we're gonna scale it back, and we're gonna hum. So hum with me. And if you got game, you can throw it on harmony. Please do that. In musical theory, it takes three notes to make a chord. But if you come from the school of punk rock, you know it really only takes two. So we're gonna give it a shot. All right. This basement garage, this hybrid room of the future, <laughs> is now an instrument. Here we go, and a hum. It's the key of F sharp major, if that's helpful. <laughs> Let me hear you, harmonies. Here we go. <laughs> time. That one. 
because the sun was sitting different than before. Well, I know the autumn's coming because it's knocking on my door. I don't, I don't know what this new season will bring. I don't, I don't know what change this moment will sing. I know I'm a different man than I was one year, one year. Taking off for some other hemisphere And I am fine with that Shorten up the days and let it fade right into black I like the air when it stays this way It's like a wave that I sense just before before it breaks. Thank you very much. This is about taking the bad in your life and turning it into a positive. Growing stronger with the challenges you face. This is Eating Lemons. to play these dates it's been awesome we've come a long way in a week's time we were I was in Philadelphia one week ago and it's amazing to be right here right now um, that last song is a is an important one to me because it's the one that I wrote um, it was one of a few songs that I wrote when I was getting serious about pursuing music again I was on a I was in a band 
who you, who you don't need to know about. And, uh, <laughs> and we were on a label that started with a V and ended with the Ictory, and, and it was not, it wasn't oh. fun. It wasn't fun. <laughs> It was bad. What? what? Oh, I said it started with the V and it ended with the Ictory. No, we got that. Oh, yeah, it was a so spin. No. Come on. Come on. But I wasn't on the record. I was just in the band. But listen, this is the thing. <laughs> I got, I got hey. it. I was. I, we were working on a new record, and then the label was like, "No, you can't work on a new record." I was like, "Fuck this! I'm punk." Bleh, and I was out. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, that, and I had this in my mind. I was like, "Yeah, like, like." DIY until death, yo. And in my mind, because I also li like really like rap, so I just put yo at the end of it. Um, and I was, I was thinking to myself, like, when I was playing that last one, because I was just thinking that song is about resilience. That's a song that I wrote to remind myself when shit get, when, when it gets hard, not just in music, but in the rest of my life, to not give up, to have some perspective, and to know shit's gonna get better. Everything's gonna be fine, and I need to have a discipline of spirit and of heart to know that, to be okay. And so, um, Man. and so I started playing music again, but I didn't, I, I didn't, I guess, wanna, <laughs> he's videotaping. I didn't want to um, continue with a broken attitude of, of exclusivity and thinking, yeah, punk, hardcore, that's the way to a pure, righteous path, you know, like living really well, because it doesn't have to look like this. It doesn't have to be these tools. It doesn't have to be guitars, voices, and drum sets. It could be medicine or science. It could be anything you want it to be. And so, instead of not trying to lose sight of my punk DIY values, it was more just not trying to lose sight of my humanity and the humanity that exists in us all. Because it's really easy to be pacified, to unplug, to hide in our social media, our Facebook, our Twitters, our Tumblrs, our cell phones and computers our touch screen menu item things to order food. It's really easy to just to just unplug and being so hyper connected this day and age. So I sing to remind myself. And I was here, um, I think it was the day that Never Can Come Undone came out. Yeah, it was. It was a really cool day. One of my best friends, uh, my other best friend's band, they're called Title Fight, they put out a record called Shed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. There's a band called White Chapel that comes from. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, no, no, no. There's another one with white in the name, but they wear makeup. Not cool. Um, I am somewhere where I meant not to be. White Chapel, punk rock, back to. Okay. So that day, I released a record that I at this point never seen. It's actually back there now. I've seen it. I haven't seen all the different colors of the vinyl but I know that they exist because I've seen pictures. So we put out this record, and it was a record that um, my side, I dedicated to a friend named Nate, and if you were here last time, I told his story about how he was working. He was one of the, the members of this huge family that's working on this issue of child soldiering in Central Africa. And we lost him, um, we lost him over a year ago. He was working in Uganda, and he was watching the final game of the World Cup when three terrorists set off bombs, suicide bombers set off bombs in places where people were watching the game. And he was standing a little too close to where that bomb went off. And I know, um, I, I know for a fact, because I spoke to him the, the week that he passed away, and his words to me and my friends that were on tour, he said, this is the happiest I've ever been. I've never been so sure of anything that I'm doing, or I have done in my whole life, and what I'm doing here. I know that it's right, and I know that we're getting there. This is the, the, the best moment of my life. That's what he said to me. That was the last conversation I had with him. And, um, and so you lose a person, but in mourning, it presents a lot of issues when you know for a fact someone went out at the at the top of what they wanted to be and what they wanted to do. If you're not living the way you want to be living right now, you have what happens next and the moments to come to change it. The compelling thing about art is that a show like this is going to end, sun goes up, 
sun goes down, it is night and it is day, and all of this stuff, this life stuff, our lives will end. All of it's temporary, and that's what makes it so precious and so important. And you need those heroes in your life. And so I dedicated my side of a split uh, with a lot of speed to my friend Nate, who's a hero of mine. And I hope that you have people like Nate in your life. And if you've dealt with loss in this past year, I hope that you're dealing with it as best you can. And I hope that you're not alone in your mourning for the love that you've lost. Because that's, that's a part of it. That's a big part of this existing thing, is carrying that weight of that loss. And also honoring that love and the lightness that love gives you. So keep sharing. Keep sharing the light part of this beautiful existence and carrying the weight the best you can. This is a song by Ted Leo that I'm going to send out to my friend Nate, to anyone you've lost along the way. Thanks for... Thanks for <laughs> On the record, we sang it all together in a room. We sang the last verse, and I don't believe the last verse is meant to be sung alone, so I'm going to teach you the two lines. So here comes the first one. All the all, we cannot stop singing. We cannot start sinking. We swim until it ends. Let's give it a shot. All the all, we cannot stop singing. We cannot start sinking. We swim until it ends. <laughs> One more time. All in all, we cannot stop singing. We cannot start sinking. We swim until it ends. This is the second line. They may kill and we may be parted. We will never be broken hearted. All together. They may kill and we may be parted. We will never be broken hearted. One more time. together. Are you ready? You're doing an awesome job. Here we go. All together. All in all, we cannot stop singing. We cannot start sinking. We swim until it ends. They may kill and we may be parted. so much for singing with me today. I got this song and one more. This is called Biomusicology. Had we never come across the vastness of pavement, the bareness of waves, the grayness of the sea. Never lost or never been misguided. We'd never reach sea so shining. Come from out of Handsome and Camden to a bar in the basement with all the while it rained. We'll come across the friendliest of faces, handsomest and Ugly places. Yeah. 
come from out of the tunnels we take in to see that Tomlin's not living and working doesn't work. I'm the fun that loving is a labor. Labor's life and life's forever. Come to see that keeping's not giving. You get what you're given, you get what you deserve. In the midst of all the, the action, maybe only live and satisfaction. Chasing seafoam. Dreams around another dirty old town Parallel run Streams toward gray ocean from the green ground Old unlived eyes Mirror look beneath the glassy surface All the songs you hear down there They have a purpose For all the love on earth and all the love that's passed on Here we go, together This is gonna do it for me. This is my last song. White Wives is up next. And this is one I call a spring song. We could spend all day piecing together a picture of the world. And here with all my friends, there's so much color. Turn in some way. I got my brother, mom, dad, and parents too. The aunts and uncles, all my cousins, everyone that I prayed for when I was three. I can smell the spring. She is on her way. With the breeze, remember me here today, 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 today. Earlier today, I got to sing this with one of um, my buddy Adam's students. He's a little seven year old boy named Alexander. He is one of the sweetest, most awesome kids I know. And he also has a thing called autism. And if you haven't heard of it, it's, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a special type of human being that person is. And I credit the, the way that I sing to my mother, who is an OT, and who um, I guess some of my first memories are going to work with her and working with autistic kids, Down syndrome kids, people with mental retardation, all types of special needs. And it takes a special type of person to be able to listen to someone that may not have the easiest time communicating with the rest of us. And um, his favorite song is Tiger's Jaw, The Sun. And his second favorite song is this song called Spring Song. And we got to sing this together today. And if you don't know the words to this, we're going to start in a whisper. And once everyone's got it, we're going to end in a shout. But we're going to sing because... In order to make the world better, we gotta pass on the good that we know. 
So this goes out to all the good that we know and all the love in our life. Thanks for having me. My name is Coach. In a whisper, here we go. We could spend all day piecing together a picture of the world and here with all my friends. There's so much color. Spend all our day piecing together a picture of the world and here with all my friends. There's so much color. Regular singing voices, good posture, everybody. We can spend all day piecing together a picture of the